Hey guys, this is Cash Rain Campbell. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, all right? So I share a lot of important content. Make sure you subscribe so you get the alerts once I share a new video, all right? Today, what I'm gonna be going over is how you can generate real estate leads. Let's face it, when you first get started in real estate, you know, you're really starting with a clean slate. You know, some of you, you know, you have business um, already from friends and family members where they're so happy to see you start. They're just throwing you business, but not everyone starts that way. A lot of people start with just their, their phone book, right? Um, so you do already have leads. That's what I want to also point out. You do already have leads. You just have to go through those leads and qualify those leads. So if you're a new agent right now, or even if you're an existing agent and feel you have no leads or looking for ways to generate new leads, you are watching the right video and you're at the right place at the right time. So the first, the first thing I want to go over with you guys is your phone book. So when you first get started in real estate, the only leads you really have is your phone book, your previous relationships, okay? So all of these people who you know, there's a reason why you know them. And I always said that to myself. You know, someone I knew from high school, there was a reason why I met that person in my life. Someone I met in college, there's a reason why I met that person. I believe things don't just happen. If I meet you, there's a reason why. So what you can do is actually go through your phone book. P prior to being in real estate, I did club and concert promotions. I had a thousand contacts. What I did was I put those thousand contacts on an Excel sheet. I put all of them on an Excel sheet and I called through them. And I was calling through them to qualify them just to see if anyone is interested in purchasing real estate at the moment. It was prospecting. It was the only leads I had was the people I knew. I started there, then I branched out from there. What a lot of you guys are doing is you're starting out here, then trying to come back here, right? You have to start here, then work your way out there. Right. So I just qualified. I went through all of those leads that uh, all of those friends and family that I knew just to see if they knew anyone that was interested in doing real estate or if they knew anyone that was interested in selling or buying real estate. All right. The next thing you can do, what I did in the beginning is um, I also built a website. OK, there was a website where I had the MLS IDX feed directly connected to it and what happened is people were able to go on that website and search and when they search and they needed more information i was able to capture their information i have to actually put that website back up but um that was something that i did in the beginning i created that website just to um you know capture individuals information and start to generate more leads all right i also did linkedin okay i found you know loan officers who are on linkedin attorneys you know, just regular professionals. And I've started to inbox those people on LinkedIn. You know, I believe they have to be your connection. So I went through my connections on LinkedIn. There should be, you know, videos on that, or maybe I can create a video on that as well, on how you can start to really, you know, inbox and connect to people who are in your field to possibly try to generate uh, some referral business. All right. The next thing is um, organize events. Uh, we just had a, a, an event about three weeks ago. It's called, it was called the Fave Social Event. We had over 300 people in attendance. So these are events that we organize to try and get people together so that way we can try to generate some kind of business. We also have done uh, first-time homebuyer seminars in the beginning, which, which are probably the more targeted events. Um, is the first-time homebuyer events for uh, buyers where you're giving buyers information. So that's a really, really good um, event there, a first time home buyer seminar, all right? So we've done that plenty of times. I've done it at the office. I've done it where we rent spaces and you know did um, the first time home buyer seminars and we were able to generate a lot of business. You know, and I didn't just, these events that I'm talking about, I didn't just do them by myself. I did them with other people so that way 
you know, we get we can maximize results. So if you aren't able to do the event by yourself, partner with other individuals. You can partner with lenders, you can partner with other agents in your office to make the to make the event a success. You know, one, no one man is an island, right? So um, also open houses. You know, open houses are big. If you have a new listing, you do open houses, you generate buyer leads. You know, you can even generate seller leads from the open houses because people, you know, sellers sometimes come, you know, other sellers in the neighborhood come over, they want a home evaluation on their home. So open houses are big. And I'm gonna do another video on open houses on how to maximize on open houses. I also do Facebook ads. I do Facebook ads for sellers and I do Facebook ads for buyers. I do Facebook ads primarily for sellers, but I also do them for buyers as well. Reach out to friends and family. Again, like I said in the beginning, that's what I did. I reached out to friends and family. Here is the bonus. Here's the thing that I like. The thing that I love is when you're out on a daily basis, right? Prospect, right? And prospecting is not just hitting the phones. When you're out on a daily basis, you're in the supermarket, you're at the, the, the grocery store, you know, wherever you are, speak to people. Be a, be, a, be a people person. You're in the relationship-based business. Speak to people. You know, you're on the line at the grocery store. Hey, how you doing, ma'am? How, how is everything? How you doing, sir? Right? Because you don't know. That might be your next seller. So when I'm out or whatever I'm doing, I'm being friendly. You know, I'm speaking to people just to build those connections. Because once you say real estate... I, when, I learned that quick. Once I started to say real estate and I said that to people, antennas started to go up. You know, people were like, uh, oh, such and such inherited the property. I don't know what they're doing with it. Maybe you could reach out to them and try to help them out. Oh, uh, my husband and I, you know, I had a lady one time, my husband and I want um, a, a home evaluation. We're thinking about selling next spring, you know, and, I, and I'm just developing, I'm just um, creating all of these different leads but just in different places, and that's how you get a ton of leads. You know, I hope you guys are taking notes, and these tips are really helping you, and it's gonna help you to become successful. Um, this is for, you know, new agents, veteran agents. I love sharing information, you know? Um, if it's, it's like just in my DNA to share information, I guess, right? Um, so thank you guys for uh, jumping onto my YouTube channel, um, you know, Stay blessed, and again, make sure you subscribe and keep a lookout for my next video.